This is my most favourite thing that's turned up recently for me. Uh, this is an original Marushan. Date probably 1995 to 1998, and that is mostly out of guess. The paperwork inside the box shows its age because it has turned a nice yellow colour. If you don't find something like this uh, that is in mint condition, it doesn't happen. Now, very slightly different in one of these little guns, the BBs aren't quite 6mm. They are, to look at it, they're 6mm, but they're very, very slightly oversized, as is the barrel. So if you use up all of this nice blue ammo, you're fucked. Because the power on this gun will drop by a good 100 feet per second, and it ain't going to be that powerful to start with. Now, look at fucking that. Look at fucking that. That is amazing. Now all the shells do drop out, it's a five shot, and they are the brass type. That's pretty damn realistic. As you can see, there's a slight ridge on the inside, that means you couldn't have put any hands inside it. Uh, live rounds, whatever else, or blank firing rounds, and the cylinder is completely plastic, so this would just fucking explode. Now, I am not convinced it's going to hold gas because it might not have been gassed in 20 years. Who's to say? Wow. The trademarks are fucking gorgeous. I'm looking for anywhere that actually says Marushan on it because, you know, normally you get that. I've got the ASG UK mark in there, and right at the bottom it does say Marushan underneath the Smith & Wesson logo. Gas goes up inside. I'm not going to be a massive cunt and put high power gas in it, so we're going to go with... Oh, baby. Fucking noise on that here, crackling. That was already filled with gas. That came through from Japan with gas in it. That is pretty fantastic. I will never fire that again. I like how diddy it is. That is a really little gun. Uh, I've got normal medium sized hands, but I do like smaller guns, and that is, it just feels fucking perfect. And that is the most it will ever get fired. And this is where we put it all back in the box. I need to buy a new cabinet just for my revolvers. And until that happens, and it gets its final resting place, it's going to go back in its box, and it's never going to get fired again. That's a fucking classic. Have a nice fucking day.